الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الحباب continuing on in our series of good deeds for the day and today's good deed is to smile or be cheerful in the face of others and in fact this is from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and this can be a means of coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being cheerful and spreading joy to the lives of others. And by having a cheerful face, even the person, especially if it accompanies a greeting someone, that when you greet someone with salam, that even a person who's an angry person a person who perhaps might be a mean person, this tends to break them down, that even they will have to acquiesce or come back, come back down from their hostility a bit. They'll backtrack just a little bit. It might even force them to return the salams or remove some of the harshness. And if nothing else, internally, and most importantly, is that you've made an effort to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An Abi Dhar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala li nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la tahkaranna min al-ma'roofi shay'an walau an talqa akhaq bi wajhin talq ruahu muslim in the hadith of Abi Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to me, Do not belittle any thing from goodness, meaning no good, need, good deeds should you, you think that they're small or that they're insignificant. Even if it was you meeting your brother with a cheerful face. And this was collected in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, it verifies for us that this is from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he ordered us to do so. And as we said on countless occasions, Al Amr Yufid al Wujub. وَالنَّهِي يُفِيدَ تَحْرِيمِ That whenever something is commanded in the Qur'an or the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then the origin of that command is that it's an obligation. And whenever the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, or first and foremost Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, commands or prohibits something, prohibits us from doing an action, then this is evidence that this is something that is haram until you find other evidence to support otherwise. In this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تحكرن من المعروف شيئا That do not belittle anything from good deeds. So, in this hadith, it is actually not, although it involves a command, to not belittle a good deed, but he's not ordering us to do this action. But it still is comprised of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because it's mentioned in this statement, alayhi salatu wa salam. And it was from one of the actions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to smile and show cheerfulness. And so as believers, we should strive to follow the sunnah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to benefit ourselves. 
And sometimes, even if you feel sadness and you do this act of obedience, that perhaps Allah will change your state and raise your status and grant you forgiveness. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.